Born in 1975 in Brisbane, the oldest of two children, the young Aaron O'Donnell dreamt of being on television. With a simultaneous burning desire to become a business mogul, however, life saw him take a slightly different direction. Trying his hand at many and varied businesses, creating, buying, selling, the glittering jewel that is fashion TV finally caught his eagle eye. After two years of hard work negotiating a licence for the Oceania Territory, a self-confessed steep learning curve, and now two more years down the track, Aaron O'Donnell has dreamt his life and is now living that dream. As CEO of Fashion TV Oceania, Aaron O'Donnell is successfully fusing two early childhood dreams into one all-consuming passion. Come with me now as we step inside the world of a media entrepreneur. Joining me today is Aaron O'Donnell from Fashion TV Oceania. Welcome, Aaron. How are you? Oh, fantastic. Thank you for having me. That's great. Oh, it's very exciting it's to be talking about Fashion great. TV. Love <laughs> so, the Fashion TV global brand has been going for what, 10, 15 years? Uh, 12 years in Australia. 12 years. Um, it's about 14 years all up for the company. Okay, and the Fashion TV Oceania brand, which you mm -hmm. own or license? Yep, yep. Um, yeah, I, I've had that now for just over two years. Okay. Um, we've sort of, uh, we saw the opportunity and I thought, you know, let's grab it. Um, the beauty of it is I've done a license for basically 99 years um, in the territory, which is quite an amazing feat. And, you know, the brand itself was worth it. Um, the money and so forth, that doesn't matter, that's that's all part of business. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I've purchased Australia, New Zealand and the Pacific Isles mm -hmm. of, of the brand and I just feel as though, you know, I had to grab the Pacific Islands uh, because basically what a great place to go and do photo shoots. <laughs> <laughs> Plus I can have a holiday when I'm all working. So. so, how did you get started Why Fashion TV? Um, I think I, when I when I was very little, I always wanted to be on television. Okay, and I'm not that pretty, so <laughs> to get on television, I had to go and buy a station. So basically, that's what I did. I, I I love the the fashion industry. I think it's exciting. I think Australia is is really starting to boom in that industry. Um, has done for probably the last five ten years. Just, it's something that I always wanted to do, and you know I have other ideas for other television stations. So Goodness this is me. look out. <laughs> this is a so called look out. This is a so called Foxtel here. I go. Uh, this is a so called learning curve of of how to manage, and you know I had no idea how to run mm. a television station because that wasn't um, your background. Media wasn't your background. Not at all. It? Not at all. I've never done media in my life. Um, but you know, I've had some good people who taught me very quickly how to do. And with international, you know, I, I followed and learnt a lot there. Um, you it's know, nice having a big brother to. to oh, exactly. Yeah. Other parts of my business, such as, you know, we have fashion bars, we have fashion cafes, we have model schools, we have hair salons, we have gymnasiums, we have anything you can put an F in front of. That, <laughs> <laughs> without being rude, is, you know, high level, high end stuff. Um, oh, that's what to be able to expand is to have the television aspect of the business 110%. Mm -hmm. So we've spent that first two years doing that, proving to the, the, the industry that we can create great content and, and look after the customers and, and put Australia on the map, I suppose, yeah. you know, or Oceania on the map. Um, you know, we're averaging six to seven hours a day of content now, oh, which is great. amazing in two years. Yeah. Uh, we program, we schedule, we do everything. Okay, all internally. All internally. Okay, she's <laughs> 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 so. We've got to enjoy the bonuses. 